Hi, this is Mike from BookUp.com. I want to show you how to study faster by having your software automatically do the things you're probably already doing by hand. Before I get started, I want you to know that everything in this video works for Macintosh and for Windows. I know I'm going to be using Windows and people using a Macintosh will go, does this really work? Yes, it really works on Macintosh the same way. So let me show you an example. I just played a couple games on the Internet Chess Club. I was smart enough to have the interface record those games, and here's how you do it under Windows with Dasher. I go to the Edit menu, choose Settings, from there I click on the Playing tab, and I make sure that Auto Save Games is checked. Once that's checked, I click this little button here to set the file. I currently have my log file set to myiccgames.pgn. And it's going to be in my documents in Chess Openings Wizard 2016, in the ebooks folder, and inside of that, the games folder. Here is the contents of that PGN file, the log file, made by Dasher, the, the interface to ICC. So in the first game I played, I played white, and I played d4, and then I played knight f3, and I played bishop f4. As white in my repertoire, as you'll see, I'm always aiming for the London system, which has exactly those moves. In the second game, I played black. And uh, whenever they play e4, I'm going to play e6, aiming for the French. And I'll play d4, d5. If they play the exchange, I'm naturally I'll go with that, and so on. So these are the two games I'm going to use as an example. Now, I could just select this game from top to bottom, and then right-click and select Copy. And then I could flip over to Chess Openings Wizard, and I could open up my white repertoire, and then I could paste in this game. But as I'll be playing a lot of games on the Internet Chess server, I don't have to do that over and over again. In this example, I'm going to use these two games to show how the moves from these games will go into my white repertoire and into my black repertoire and show me where my opponent played a move that wasn't in my book. Here are all the things I'd like Chess Openings Wizard Professional to do for me automatically. First, I want to store my games. The ICC interface, Dasher, keeps a log of my games, but I want my games moved to a file that contains all of my games. And that file I can use in Chess Base or in the, in the Game Database section of Chess Openings Wizard or with any game database. Next, I want to take the moves only from the games where I played white and add those moves to my white repertoire. Then I want to add the moves from my black games and add those to my black repertoire. Then I want Chess Openings Wizard to open my white repertoire and my black repertoire and show me where my opponent played a new move. Then I want my ICC log file to be emptied out so that those games won't be moved twice into Chess Space or into my repertoire books. And I want to set it up so that this is push-button automatic, so I do it every time I play more games. Here's how to do this step-by-step -step in Chess Openings Wizard Professional for Windows or for Macintosh. The next step is to get Chess Openings Wizard Professional running. I'm running a beta test version, build 50 in this case. It's going to warn me that it is a beta version. And let's see. I do have an ebook set up for my white repertoire. Let's open that one right now. So I plan, of course, on playing d4, and then I'm ready for anything black tries. If they play d5, I'm going to continue with my knight f3 plan going to the London system, knight f6, bishop f4. This setup is what I aim for in just about every position for white. I don't have a black repertoire set up yet, so I'm going to do that now. So I'll just make a really small one. Create a new ebook. And my black repertoire. Move that down so we can see it. So, in this black repertoire, eh, I'm always going to play the French. So if they play e4, I'm going to play e6. If they play d4, I'll play d5. If they play the exchange, I'll take it. And also, if they play d4, guess what I'm going to play? e6. Hoping that they're going to play e4, I'll get to play d5 and transpose. So that's my minimum repertoire for black for this demonstration. Well, let's close these guys. Closing the black repertoire and then closing the white repertoire. The next step is to set up a watched PGN file. We go to the Games menu, 
choose set watched game files, which are PGN files. There are none set up right now, so we'll add one. The first thing to fill in is what PGN file to watch. So I click the edit button. The program goes to My Documents, Chess Openings Wizard 2016, eBooks, and then Games folder, and shows me the PGN files that are available. And if you remember, the log file was named myiccgames.pgn, so we'll click that one. The next step is to move games to another PGN file. Remember that this file is going to have all of my games in it. The file might be managed by Chessbase or by the games window inside of Chess Openings Wizard. I'll pretend for this exercise we're just using Chess Openings Wizard. So I'll click the edit button for that. Here I don't have one set up, so I'll just create one. I'll call it all my games. The next step is where to put the moves from these games. Which ebook? So I click here to select an ebook. Now I want to move my white games, my, the moves from my white games, into my white repertoire. Here I only want the games where I played white, just in case there are moves by or games by white by some other player. I'm typing in my ICC username. And it has to be exact, so it's uh, case sensitive. It has to be capital D, capital M in this case to match the exact name back in that PGN file. In this case, I don't want all the games by this player. I only want white games by this player. I've got everything filled in, so I click OK. This first entry is taking care of the moves from my white games going into my white repertoire. Let's add another one to take care of the moves from my black games into my black repertoire. Watch this PGN file. I select the same file, my ICC games, and click Save. And now I select to move games to the PGN file. Here I'll put in the same file name, allmygames.pgn. And import games into this book. Let's select the black repertoire. There it is, my black repertoire. Save that. Import only games by this player. Here again, database man. And here, only black games by this player. Now we have that set up. So the first entry takes care of my white moves. The second entry takes care of my black moves. And now the setup is complete. I only have to do this once. In the future now, when I play games on the ICC, all I need to do is come here and choose Check Files Now. Let's see what it does when we press the button. First thing it did was it went to that first line and it figured out I was working with my white repertoire and it opened up my white repertoire. And it's importing the PGN from there. And it asks me how to highlight the novelties. Maybe I'll highlight them in red. Now novelties again are the moves that either I played or more likely my opponent played that are not in my book. And I'll click OK and let it start importing. And the next line is taking care of the black moves. So it opened up my black repertoire and started importing PGN from that same PGN file. Again, it's going to highlight the novelties in red, and I'll click OK. There we go. We're looking at my black repertoire, and it turns out that H6 was the first novelty. Let's rewind and see if we can figure out which way that went. So the move, or the move order from that particular game went E4, and then E6, because I always play the French, then D4, D5, then he played the exchange, and the novelty move was C4. Let's see what happened in the white repertoire. Let's close this one. Go to the white repertoire. If you remember from that game, I always play D4, and my opponent in that particular game played E6. I play knight F3, always aiming for the London system. And there's the novelty move, B6. Apparently I've never had an opponent play b6 in this position against me before, so that's something I need to add to my repertoire. That was a reasonably sophisticated procedure, but of course you only have to do it once to set it up. So let's recap. Let's say you have a file of games that gets updated. That file might be a log file of your online games. It might be a regular download file from the Week in Chess. You want to make it automatic to, number one, move those games into your larger game databases. 
Most people use chess base for that, but you could be using Master Chess or Skid, or you could use the games menu in Chess Openings Wizard. Number two, add the moves from those games into your repertory books. Maybe those games are master games that match the ECO code of your favorite opening. Or maybe they're your games, like in my example with my ICC games. Number three, you want the original file emptied so that it doesn't get imported in, you know, twice into Chess Base or Chess Openings Wizard. Number four, you want your repertoire books opened up with the new moves highlighted in the color that you chose. The way to do that in the new Chess Openings Wizard Professional for Macintosh or Windows is to choose Set Watched Game Files from the Games menu. The idea is to automate the database tasks so that you can see the impact on your repertoire in seconds. Use it to study faster, get stronger, and certainly make the job easier. Email me with any questions and have fun with your copy of Chess Openings Wizard.